This video includes a paid sponsorship from Novium, but I'll talk more about that later. Tesla just released a new video showing off their much improved second generation Optimus humanoid robot. And I'm extremely impressed with how much progress Tesla has made since their last demo in late September of this year. Follow along as I discuss how much Optimus has improved and also make sure that you stick around because I'm going to be sharing the reaction of a robot expert on Tesla's new second generation robot. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Tesla has come a long way since first introducing uh, the Optimus project back in August of 2021 when they had a dancer dressed up in a robot suit um, in place of an actual robot. When Tesla did have a working prototype in September of 2022, that prototype was still quite rough and was connected and likely supported by a cable up above it. However, fast forward to September of this year, and while the robot demoed at that time still needed refinement, Tesla's demo of Optimus was beginning to be quite impressive. However, with the latest generation, the refinement and improvements to Tesla's Optimus are extremely massive. Now, one of the big reasons why Tesla's Optimus robot has improved so much as I will discuss comes down to it now including Tesla's in-house custom designed actuators. But before I dive into those details and further details, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Novium. I have really loved using this Interstellar Edition hover pen from Novium, and I believe you will too. It has quickly become my go-to pen and I use it often. I love its style, its high-end feel, how comfortable it is to hold while writing, and also how smoothly it writes as well. It is also fun to spin as it stands magnetically in its base here at a 23.5 degree angle, which is a nod to the Earth's axial tilt. This Interstellar Edition hover pen is a refillable ballpoint pen, and it is offered in several different colors, including the space black color that I have, Mars Magma, Starlight Silver, and Neptune Blue. For something completely unique, the space black color can be upgraded to include a real embedded meteorite piece, so you can have a genuine piece of outer space sitting on your desk. For those who prefer writing with a fountain pen, Novium offers their future edition pens with a two-in-one fountain pen rollerball configuration. Hover pens make a great gift for yourself or someone else, and they come packaged in a really nice box. Find out more by clicking the link in the video description and enjoy a 10% discount and free shipping on all hover pens with code CLEANERWATT. Note that Novium does offer international shipping. Now, when it comes to the importance of Tesla's in-house designed actuators, back in Tesla's Q2 2023 Investors Conference call, Elon discussed the fact that the actuators needed for their Optimus robot to work well, translation, work well enough to Tesla's high standard, those actuators are not available from suppliers. This led to Tesla designing their own custom actuators for their Optimus robot, which of course is great news because Tesla has some of the best engineers in the world. And when they custom design something, not only is it completely optimized for their specific purpose, but that part will almost certainly be the best of its kind in the world. Tesla's first generation robot did not have these Tesla designed actuators. However, Elon previously estimated that Optimus would have all Tesla designed actuators integrated and working in November-ish of this year. Excitingly, this new Tesla video does confirm that Elon's estimate was pretty accurate because it was made very clear that their second generation Optimus robot, which was being demoed in this video, now includes Tesla's designed actuators and sensors. It's amazing just how much more smooth the robot's movements are, and it's becoming much more human-like. However, beyond the smooth movements of the robot, really one of the marked differences you can see between this robot and the previous version is how much more refined and how much more it actually looks like a finished product versus the old prototype. 
This comes down to the fact that Tesla's in-house designed custom actuators actually have a lot of integration and the cabling, etc., is integrated into this actuator assembly so it doesn't have all these cables and wires and stuff sticking out of the robot and it looks much cleaner. When it comes to the exact details of this integration, Elon Musk in Tesla's Q2 2023 conference call gave details about what would be integrated in these new Tesla designed actuators. Elon said, quote, so we've actually had to design our own actuators that integrate the motor, the power electronics, the controller, the sensors, and really every one of them is custom design. Elon then added, so they're not just lighter, tighter, and more capable than any other actuators that we're aware of that exist in the world. These are also actually manufacturable, so we'll be able to make them in volume. According to this Tesla demo video, Tesla's new second generation Optimus robot is now 10 kilograms lighter than the previous version. And while a lot of the refinements do make sense when it comes down to the weight savings, when you look at how much cleaner everything is, I believe a lot of that weight savings comes down to all this integration, these new actuators and the assemblies with all that integration that I mentioned, I believe that's a big part of why this robot is much lighter. A little less than three months ago, Tesla did release a demo video in September of this year, and they showed off the Optimus robot's ability to self-calibrate its arms and legs, to sort blocks by color. They also showed off great hand dexterity and how well the robot was able to balance. Tesla's second generation robot adds to that way more refinement, smoother movement, and faster movement. It was also interesting to see that the robot's neck now moves, which makes it more human-like. And the robot's neck now has two degrees of freedom, which I believe refers to the robot's ability to make its head um, nod up and down and to rotate side to side. When it comes to the robot's walking, it looks much more human-like and refined. And in addition, it now walks 30% faster than before. When you look at the movement of the robot's foot and its general posture, it's looking much more human-like than before and really has a better posture, a more human-like posture than any other humanoid robot that I've seen. Moving on, the video showed the robot squatting, which once again demonstrates its control and balance. And then really one of the most exciting portions of the video had to do with the hands of the robot. Tesla listed that this robot now has faster 11 degree of freedom, brand new hands. And you can see these 11 degrees of freedom in action with a robot moving its wrists and fingers. And once again, this is looking much more human-like than ever before. And when you look at other robots that are available, a lot of them just have like clamp hands. So what Tesla is doing is much more impressive than much of the competition. Elon Musk even replied to Dave Lee on X.com about the robot's hand. So much engineering has gone into the hands. In a year, it will be able to thread a needle. Something else that was demoed in this video and is really actually exciting is the fact that the robot now has sensors in its fingers. Basically, the Optimus robot knows which fingers are touching something. And this is, of course, extremely impressive and necessary. Of course, humans have a sense of touch and that's important for our lives. And this is not something that I thought about in the past, but this is an important feature for robots as well to have a sense of touch. Now, Tesla demonstrated in this video um, the Optimus robot being able to lift up an egg, transfer that from one hand to another, and then set that down in a tray. But as was pointed out on X.com, if you look very closely, as the robot picks up the egg, um, you can see that its fingers appear to depress in the egg. It looks very malleable. So I believe that that's not a real egg there and that if that were a real egg, it would have been crushed because that looks like a plastic egg or something like that. But nonetheless, what Tesla is demoing here is still impressive. And I believe that in the future, it will be able to grab a real egg without crushing it. But nonetheless, when you look at the robot's hands motion, and when you look at where Tesla has come so quickly, what they have done is extremely impressive. And once again, when you look at other robots on the market, when you look at their hands, they don't have this kind of precision that the Tesla's robot does have. So Tesla is making great progress.
With that being said, I now want to move to a reaction from a robot expert, Dr. Scott Walter, who is a founder of two robot companies. And Dr. Walter posted this as a reaction on X.com to Tesla's robot quote, looks more like the original version of AI Day 1. When Elon dropped the Tesla designed actuators comment back in May, you knew something was up. Many concerns I had about the original design have been allayed. One, cabling, integrated into the actuators, nearly non-existent. Two, pinch points, eliminated with covers and cleaner design. Three, actuator size and protrusions, more compact. Four, flexible toe box, allowing for the heel strike and toe off. Five, hips are more compact. What is new? One, head movement for better object tracking. Two, articulated toe box, not actuated, likely compliant joint. Three, 10 kilogram diet, likely newer lightweight materials, replacing aluminum castings or optimized design. Four, tip sensors on fingers, still same hand design, six actuators with 11 degrees of freedom, two knuckles per finger. What hasn't changed? One, same parallel kinematic for wrist and ankle, just optimized a little. Two, appears same kinematics for hip and knee joint. Three, covered up, but similar elbow mechanism. Shoulder is still three serial actuators, but more compact. Five, pelvis is a more compact design of original concept. When it comes to the robot's finger sensors, he added, quote, these new Optimus tactile sensors can probably read braille. Looks like a six by six grid with eight bits per point. I definitely appreciate Dr. Scott Walter sharing these observations on x.com. And if you'd like to watch an interview of Dr. Scott really going through um, some of these same details about Tesla's second generation robot, I will link to a YouTube video on the Brighter with Herbert channel. And I believe his insight is extremely valuable. So based on all the improvements that Tesla has made, Tesla is once again proving critics wrong that they can build a very impressive humanoid robot and how quickly Tesla is progressing is very impressive. And based on this video, Elon's previous prediction that their Optimus robots would be able to do useful things in their factories, quote, sometime next year is looking like a sure thing. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to Novium for sponsoring this video. And I definitely recommend that you go over and click one of those links in the video description so you can save 10% off and get free shipping on any hover pen purchase. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.